Okay, this is a video to show how to um, create the shield part of the Prusia US version face shield. Um, I'm just using regular hole punches. One is a three hole hole punch that uh, I didn't adjust at all. It's set up to do the three holes for a three ring binder. And then the other hole punch I did adjust on the back. You can loosen these um, hole punches holes and I use a ruler and the ruler on here and uh, with a plan from the Prusia website I spaced these according to the dimensions that they had listed there to make these bottom holes in the bottom. Now uh, I'm doing this, this is just a piece of paper that already comes in each individual transparency in between the sheets. So it's much easier to see the holes and what I'm doing here. Uh, but I'm basically able to take several sheets two, three sheets, I haven't really gotten to the max yet, put them right into a hole punch, not have to make any marks, not have to make any centering, just put it right against the edge and make sure it's all the way back, nice and straight, punching three holes through there. Okay, and while I'm doing this, these two steps, I'm also uh, making sure that I am wearing gloves, I'm wearing a face shield, or face mask, I should say, so that uh, I'm not contaminating anything. So here is the film that's already cut up. And then to shape it, I'm just using regular scissors. And on the bottom, which is the side with the three holes, I'm just cutting the corner off by rounding this edge a little bit, not marking it, just doing it by eye um, so that it can get done quick. And it doesn't really matter too much because if it's off, um, it can just be recut simply with scissors. Okay, and then the top half gets just a little bit of a curve just to take the corners off. Okay, and I'm doing that, so now we have the shapes that we need. This is two of them right here. Two, three. Two of them. Three of them. So here's three, and here's the other five, two, there's five. So I'm putting them into an envelope, um, about 10 to 20 a piece, putting the date on the envelope, and then marking the thickness of the film that's inside here. Because uh, I did experiment and try to use a little bit thicker of a material, but it, um, it had a little bit too, didn't have the optical clarity that was required for the face shield. So um, this is a little bit different design, but again, it just used a three hole hole punch. Okay, and then just so you know, if you can hear it in the background, here are the two 3D printers printing out two different face shields at a time, one in blue, one in orange.